Hi everyone, this is Audrey, also known as Noble Strength, and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you a restoration of a handbag that I found at our local Goodwill. Now, I believe if you're going to acquire and obtain an item, you should really take good care of it. Not meaning you should baby it because we shouldn't baby material things, but take good care of what you have. Well, I just happened to see this bag that had a familiar print on it, and I knew that that print was from a brand called Burberry, and so I asked the lady if I could look at it uh, behind the case, and she opened it up, and I saw some just, oh my God, horrendous staining and all kind of abuse to the bag, but you know, I said this will be a great project for me to try and restore it. Um, I'm an artist, so it had some scratches on uh, some of the detailing that I thought maybe I could doctor up. Of course, I could clean it up, but anyway, um, the bag was $29.92. And because of all of the abuse and scratching on the bag, um, I asked if I could speak to the manager to see about, you know, taking a discount off the bag. Well, the manager and I spoke, and at first she was only willing to take off 10%, but then I went on to say, you know, that the leather has been scuffed up, and to send it in for a repair would be probably too much money and so that's just a defect that I would have to live with and so I think you know it's worth more of a discount and she said well I tell you what I'll take off nine dollars so you can have it for 20 but don't tell anyone and I said I will not and I'm so grateful and thankful uh, for you doing that so she's like come on let me check you out and I got the bag that was the only thing that I purchased a $20 bag. I'm not sure if this Burberry bag is real or not. Um, when I came home, I went online and did a little bit of searching on YouTube and Google and looked for some specific things. So I think it's real, but like I say, the authenticity of the bag, authenticity, I'm sorry, I'm not sure. So let's take a closer look at the bag so you can see what I have ahead of me in getting this bag cleaned up and ready to wear. I have my gloves on because, like I say, the bag is pretty dirty and filthy in some areas. So I'm going to show it. This bag um, has a print on it that I found out was called the Nova Check print. And um, this is like a tote bag. It snaps on the sides here so you can expand it when opening it up. It's trimmed in burgundy patent leather trim. So the structure of the bag is really, really nice. And I like the design of the bag, the fact that it's a shoulder bag. And I do not own a Burberry. And I just thought, well, you know, normally I don't buy bags that are in this poor of a condition, but you know, because I don't own one, I'll go ahead and see if I can fix it up. And I would actually carry this. I wouldn't resell it. Uh, I think it's a really nice design, nice bag. So let's take a closer look at it. It has some stains on the front, as you can see here. Pretty dirty. Um, some stainings on the side. There's some like black specking here on the side of the bag. Uh, just stainings on the canvas. Now, Burberry bags like this are in a coated canvas. A PVC is what they call it, but it's coated canvas. So um, it should be able to be easily cleaned with some delicate cleaning uh, products, which I will show you what I'm going to use later. Um, then on the bottom, this is the worst part of the bag. Now it has four feet on the bottom. And what I am confused about is if it has these four feet, why is there such staining and dirt on the bottom of this bag? I mean, it's just gross. But that is going to be some cleaning that I'm going to have to do. Not only that, but in this corner here, um, there's scuffing of the leather. Now, I did inspect that that is real leather, so the suede part of the leather is showing through from where the treatment of the patent uh, leather part is peeled away, but that is a uh, suede material there. 
And so let's open up and take a look at the inside of the bag. Now the inside was worse than the bottom of the bag. So let me take out the stuffing. Now uh, this is the inside of the bag. I'm going to open the snaps here. And it does have pockets on the top side and a zipper here on this side. The inside is a nice kind of fabric, uh, tan fabric inside. And then there's leather, patent leather trim along the pockets, which I like. And on the inside, there is a lot of hair and debris and staining. Um, so I'm going to have to wash the inside and kind of get that out as well. So that is what I'm up against. Um, the bag does have some magnetic uh, clasp here so it just kind of pulls close um, when you close it like that. And then like I say they snap on the sides. So very cute bag. I like the hardware on here. It looks like it's some type of grayish uh, coating on there or I'm not pewter I'm not sure what color that is there's also a little bit of scuffing on the pad leather here I think I can get that off with a magic erase uh, sponge or maybe some goo gone so we're gonna see how we can clean this up restore it and then maybe even style it so uh, this is my latest find and we'll be back in a few to show you what products I'm gonna use so hang in there stay tuned don't go anywhere all right so I decided to give a closer look uh, on the bag just one more time outside in the natural light because I don't think the indoor lighting really showed how um, dirty this bag is but anyway so here it is in the natural sunlight and as you can see there's some dirt there and there at the top handle and I'm going to turn it around and there's some staining uh, on this side and I've taken the stuffing out so the um, bag is kind of crunching there but there's some uh, little dark spots there in the corner and then the scuff marks are there, scratches, but the bottom of the bag and the inside are the dirtiest. So let me see if I can maneuver this with one hand. So enjoy some natural scenery while I try to adjust this here. I'm in my front yard. Okay, so here is the bottom of the bag. So you see how dirty and cruddy that is. This is a, a tan type color in the center with some burgundy stripes and black and white over on the sides. So even on the tan part, you can see how dirty that part is. And even with the feet, it's just amazing to me how it got that dirty. And they must have, must have played shuffleboard with this. I mean, how can you scratch up a bag that horrendously, you know? But anyway, nevertheless, project ahead of me but that's the staining of the bag and then as far as the inside of the bag let's see here if I can open it with one hand one hand's holding the camera the other one's trying to open but let's see if we could get some lighting in here but yeah there you can see the staining in the corner there a little bit better there's all type of hair and debris the hair kind of blends in with the bag I don't know if that's animal hair because it's short and I don't know if they what they did they cut their hair and caught their hair clippings in here I'm not sure but anyway so that's the inside of the bag and there's that Burberry logo it's kind of hard to see in this lighting but there's a knight on a horse I believe uh, so anyway that's the bag now we're gonna go back inside and start cleaning all right so See here are some of the products that I'm going to be using to try and clean up this Burberry handbag I have some goo gone uh, which is supposed to remove uh, I guess like scuffing adhesive that type of thing and I just have a bowl of warm water uh, with a little bit of wool light in it maybe a half a cap full of wool light in warm water some uh, white cleaning cloths I figured I'd go with white bowl white cloths so you can so I can see and you can see how much dirt is removed from the bag I have some q-tips and that's gonna be for I just I guess cleaning it, little small areas that may be hard to reach I have some painting uh, brushes that I'm going to use when I have to kind of doctor on the 
scuffed um, piping along the edge and those are the nail colors that I mixed together to get a match on the color of the burgundy color and then I have a nail and hand brush which I bought new and haven't used it on my hands so I thought this would be perfect for um, kind of brushing the stained areas if I need to and then there's a magic erase sponge over there in the corner so I'm going to try the sponge first for removing the scuff marks before I put the goo gone and the q-tips were for testing the goo gone like in a small inconspicuous area so those are the things that I'm going to use to try and um, clean the Burberry bag so let's get started all right so Funny story, I have been recording for, I know, a good five minutes thinking I'm talking to you guys uh, and cleaning my bag and showing you all of the dirt that I've removed and um, it wasn't recording at all. So I'm just talking to myself, thinking I'm talking to you, cleaning the bag, seeing progress, and guess what? You can't even hear me. That's a shame. But anyway. I cleaned the bottom of the bag and I have removed so much dirt. Here is the dirt that came off from cleaning the bottom of the bag and all I've been using is this wool light mixture in warm water and this nail brush and I just dip it in the solution of wool light and warm water and then I just kind of went in circular motions like this along the bottom of the bag and then I just took a white cloth and wiped. So what you're seeing is the result of me cleaning all of that. And basically what I was saying is that um, the inside of the lining of the bag, I couldn't pull out. So I just kind of turned it upside down and shook it out really, really good and got all of the hair out. And I will go back later and try to scrub out the stains on the inside. I wanted to clean the outside first and get that done. And then... Um, go in and clean the inside and then lastly I was gonna paint up the edges and I already made a swatch which I thought I showed you earlier but I was just talking to myself so I made a swatch using um, these two colors of nail polish here uh, one is light and dark and uh, I just kind of mixed them together and it seemed to be a really good match for uh, this area here so I'm gonna use that to kind of cover that up doesn't have to be perfect because no one's going to be staring at it that closely. So after I uh, mix that up, I'm just going to use one of my little artist brush and I'm just going to kind of paint that in and get those little scuff marks covered up. But the bottom part has cleaned up fairly nicely. A um, lot of dirt removed. So now I'm going to do that. I'm going to clean out this mixture, go mix some more, and I'm going to do that on all of the coated canvas on the bag. And I was just saying that um, on their bags on the bottom, it's going to line up perfectly in the middle here and here uh, with the, the Nova check print. And um, I just watched various YouTubers uh, on Burberry. They have quite a few reviews on Burberry. And there's this one called the Lux Babe, I believe. And she's a collector of Burberry. Very regal looking um, woman. Of color very pretty and uh, very knowledgeable about luxury handbags so I would recommend watching her site if you're into uh, luxury bags but uh, like I say I believe this one's real the lining and the stitching on the inside is impeccable the lining does not pull out so that's another reason why I thought this may be a real bag and just the stitching and detailing on all of it is really good so I'm gonna clean the rest of the bag and I'll come back see you in a few all right so I have thoroughly cleaned all of the coated canvas on the outside of the bag and wiped down the patent leather on all of the trimmings and um, so this is the result of all of that cleaning so you can see all of the dirt so and the water's dirty as well so there's that now I've cleaned all of that so my next step is I want to remove um, these little white scuffings that are on the uh, bag 
And so what I am using is some Goo Gone. I'm gonna spray my Q-tip just a little bit. Um, I've actually already sprayed one. I think I need to spray it again. Dry it out a little bit. So just gonna give it a little squirt there. And so I kind of have that in there. Now I'm just going to take that. And I've already tested this on the area, so I know it works. So we're just gonna go in a small circular motion like that. And we're going to remove that white scuffing. So that mark is gone. Just gonna take a little cloth and just kind of wipe that area. So I'm gonna do that on all of those little white areas. You might not be able to see it in this lining, but just gonna kind of wipe it's not taking any of the finish off on there, but it's removing those uh, white scuff marks. So doing that. And then the next thing that I'm gonna do is uh, touch up those scuff marks using the swatching that I did. Now on this side, the scuffing doesn't seem to be coming off too well, but they're not that noticeable. Uh, I'll try the dry erase and see if that'll buff. That might work a little bit better. Let's see on another area. Because I didn't test this out. The magic erase doesn't seem to be working too well, so I'm going to go back to using the Q-tip. And going over that. All right, so I'm going to continue to do this and then I'll uh, come back in a little bit and show you how I'm going to touch up those scuffed areas there on the bag. All right, it's so really and nice and clean. The outside is very clean. So now it's time to paint those scuff marks there on the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I've already mixed up the little painting swatch. And I just want to say, ladies, that uh, I got all the white scuff marks off on the patent leather. So the Goo Gone worked really well. I stuck with that rather than the dry erase, um, the magic erase, I'm sorry, marker um, by Mr. Clean. So uh, no go on Mr. Clean for cleaning scuff marks on the patent leather, but definite go on the Goo Gone. Use a Q-tip and just kind of only work on the areas in circular motions, but you're going to have to put a little pressure into it until they, uh, it comes off. So I was able to remove all of that. And this is excellent. This is a delicate care uh, washing soap. It won't cause shape loss, uh, fiber damage, and there will be no peeling. So this was perfect for the use of this. Um, and I didn't see any damage that was done using it. So now let's get ready to do the bottom. So I'm just gonna stuff the bag so I'll have a little bit more of a structure inside of the bag. And then I'm gonna snap it closed on the sides. And then we're gonna get started uh, touching up that paint on the bottom. So this is the part that I'm concerned is kind of lay down flat. So I'm just gonna start dabbing and here goes. I'm not really concerned because nobody's gonna really be looking at that bottom part. So I'm just gonna start painting. And I am going to probably have to mix up quite a bit more of this to really get the coverage that I want. It's not a perfect match, but it's enough to allow that to kind of blend together. And so I'm just gonna go around on the edges like so, trying to stay only on that uh, suede area that is showing through. Um, and I'm just gonna touch up all of those little areas there. So I'm using a generous mount and then kind of letting you know the nail polish do the work and like I said I just used um, this is NYC and this is a number 1112 NYC nail polish and this is 
profoundly purple and I'm not sure what brand that is profoundly purple I just went to Walmart and picked up some colors and uh, well one of the colors I already had but I picked up a darker color to mix with that warmer color to try to get what I needed on the edge now those frayed edges are not laying down like I thought they would um so I'm gonna try to go back over that a little bit just a little bit but the color is a good match I feel very good match so I'm pleased with that part of it and so I'm just gonna continue doing this and I'll be back in a few we're gonna let that dry and then I'll just show you the bag in its completed state